Excuse me. Excuse me. There we go. Oh Lord, here we go. Ma'am, listen, listen. You can either make this go one way or another. Okay, we got a call to come up here. Okay, so that that leaves either one or two options. Either you can cooperate and give us what we need. We check it and we go on about our business and so do you. Or you don't give it and you go to jail. It's it's simple well, for failure really to identify. To failure to identify in Arkansas. Okay, it's simple. You're gonna you you're gonna try the statute. you're gonna try to make this ten times harder than what it has to be. I'm just trying to be informed about my rights. Okay, I and I, I just right and do. I just did that. Okay. I just did that. And I'm just we asking. got a call. We got a call up here because they felt like that you were being a little disorderly, wanted to make for sure that everything was okay. So that puts us properly where we're at right now to make contact with you, okay? That's our reasonable cause. Okay. And what have you done to validate that what they're saying is true? <laughs> we tried, but you won't talk to us like a normal person, so stand up. And we're going to go down here to the jail. We'll put you on the fingerprint machine and figure out who you are. Stand up. If you don't want to give them your ID, and you don't want to make this go you know, casually and, and properly, then it's stand not, up. And we'll so I think we're skipping some steps. We are. We're st skipping the step where you pull your ID out of your pocket and you say, here's who I am. I didn't mean to cause a problem. I'm not required. Okay. If, if yes, you I, are. If I, in if the state of Arkansas. Have a conversation, please. Well, then first. let's let's have it. No, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Please take your hand off of me, ma'am. You need to listen to me right now, okay? I told you those options. You and only I'm have two. A question. I'm just asking. Go a, ahead. I'm gonna answer one of them. Please take your hand off of me. I am I'm gonna not answer. Threat. I'm gonna answer one of them. May I please look up the statute before I show you I my ID? I told you. I told you what the statute is. There is a failure to identify statute in the state of Arkansas. With a certified law enforcement officer, you have to show your ID when you're asked. Okay. It's simple. And it's not subject to reasonable suspicion for committing a crime? Ma'am, we got a call to come up here. Okay. That's why we're here. We didn't just randomly come to the library today when it's raining outside to come to come bother you. I've been experiencing harassment for quite some time, and I guess. Well, ma'am, I apologize it's about not that, the three of us but this is not this is not one of them. And, and so what? I, but in Arkansas, well, I've been experiencing maybe it's your, maybe harassment. Maybe it's how you've been presenting yourself. It because could, I can see today yeah. why somebody would have a problem with you because you don't cooperate. You don't. All you had to do is say, "Here's who I am. I didn't mean to cause a problem. I'll leave," and you'd have been out of here. But you won't do that. Even after Sergeant Fleming's told you the law, you still want to argue. I'm not big on arguing. I'm good. On, I'm big on taking somebody to jail when they don't cooperate. He's being really nice to you. So it's going to be. So to now it's all right. That's fine. And, and now it's and now it's my turn for a question. Okay. Do you want to show your ID or do you want to go to the jail? Well, um, I would prefer to not go to the jail. Okay. Then may I see your ID? You may. I don't think I have it with me. That's it might okay. Be in my car. Just your name and birthday sufficient. Christina yeah. Morris. Christina with a C or with a K? C. What's your birthday? 
3-11 of 78. What state did your ID have that? Pennsylvania. Now, are you willing to leave this place since you caused the scene and they don't want you here? Do I not have a right to be here? No, ma'am. You can be refused service at any place in America. Now, when you cause a, when you cause a scene and you're being disorderly and you're making people feel uncomfortable, they don't want you here. So it's time to go. He's going to check you, make sure you don't have any warrants, and you're going to be asked to leave. I didn't do anything wrong. Okay. Don't they have a burden of proof? No, ma'am. No, they you're don't. You're in a public building. They don't. But why are they, why is their opinion... Man, they, don't have to have, they don't have to have a reason. If they don't want you in their building, they can ask you to leave. Any, any, any place, any place, any public place of business. If they feel, if they, if they, and you call it a disturbance. What's the disturbance that I caused? I have already tried to explain that to you. I'm at the library. They said that you were in the. They said that you were in the. It's an unproven allegation. It's an yeah, unproven man. allegation. So you still just believe that we came up here today to the library for no reason? I don't. I believe that you got a call, but what okay. I'm saying well, is I, someone calling doesn't mean that I have no right Christine. to be in a public yes, building. But they, Christina. the, the person in charge of the library, can I ask anybody to leave? It's simple. It's forever, simple. so I'm banned from the Ashdown Library nobody forever. Nobody said. Nobody said so that. So I can leave and come back. You can come back on a different date when you're not going to cause a scene. I didn't but you're cause about to, a scene. You're about to push me to the point where I'm going to have you banned, and you're going Based to go to jail. What? I'm not going to stand here and argue with you all night long. You can't take me to jail you because you don't like what I'm conduct? saying. I'm not being disorderly. And for refusal to leave. That's criminal trespass. Once I've told you you have to leave and you don't leave, that's criminal trespass. I haven't broken you, any laws. You don't have laws. to break a law to leave a business. Once the this individual... This isn't a business. Wants, this is a public building. Ma'am. To leave a they, place in Arkansas, all you've got to be doing is told you, you need to leave. That's all you got to do. Leave. Other than that, if you don't yeah. leave the place you've been told to leave, it's criminal trespass. And you out of Pennsylvania. Why would they want to keep you in the building okay. the way you're acting? You've scared every lady in the front because they don't know what's going on with you. They Why do they to need to know what's going on with Because me. you're in the bathroom screaming and slamming things. I didn't scream. Okay. Do you have any proof of that? Ma'am. Okay, so. I'm, I'm done. Okay, I'm not arguing with you anymore. Then let's not argue. Let's not. Let's go. Let's either you leave or let's go to jail. That's one of those two. Yeah. I don't care which I'll one. I'll call you back. We're good up here. So right you're now. telling me. I'm telling you that you're going to leave one way or the other. Either your two legs are going to carry you to your car. Or I'm going to carry you to my car, and I'm going to take you to jail, and then you're going to have to bond out. Then I'd like to get a, re a report number for this, please. A report. You're, there's re going to be a report if I have to take you to jail, I can assure you. Can I please have a report there's number? There's not a report yet. For what? Documenting that I'm being told that if I don't leave the public library, I have to go to jail. Ma'am, you don't need a report for that. That is, it's common knowledge. If you're asked to leave somewhere, we're back to the two Wait. choices. I'm sorry? This is way beyond where it needs to be at. I, I, I agree. I agree. I agree. So I would Are like you to, I would like to okay. sit Come down. Your hand, if you're refusing to leave the public library after you've been asked to leave, just put this right here. Put these on the door off. That way you don't get uncomfortable. What town were you at over Pennsylvania? Was it Devon? Mm -hmm. Where's that at in Pennsylvania? Outside of Philadelphia. Who's I I don't have it in, I don't have it in this uniform. I don't have it in this uniform. I got one. I got it. Oh, you got right, it. Turn around, we'll double lock this. When you sit down, they won't tighten up. Are these your items right here? Mm -hmm. Any weapons, drugs, anything like that? Guns, dead bodies, hand grenades? No. Why are you going through my Because place? before I go in my car, we're going to make sure that you don't have anything that you're not supposed to have in my car. It's called a search incident to arrest because you've been arrested. You haven't read me my rights. I don't have to read your rights. It's a misdemeanor charge. I haven't asked you any question but about this going to incriminate you while you're in custody. So I'm not going to read you your rights. But you've now seized me and you're seizing my property without Correct. reasonable suspicion no, of a crime. To. Well, that's wrong. But I don't have to read you your rights to look through your bag. I mean, if you want to hear them, I don't mind telling you. But I'll just Why let you know. You have no right to look through my bag. Please stop. Sue me, okay? Oh, thank you. I mean, all, we wanted to go back to our office. We didn't want to have to go deal with the jail, but. Oh, thank you. Benton, people. 
Oh, that's a wallet. If you want a banning notice, I'll get you the final one real quick. I mean, that's what I Get a, I'll get a banner notice and a statement for him. Jesus. 